G'day folks, welcome to a uh, little Saturday update. Um, first order of the day, I was hoping to uh, get straight out into the day, -wee, but I got a uh, little emergency call out. A friend of mine just came over and uh, some of you might recall me working on an air conditioner on a rooftop. I replaced a cap. Well, he came around saying it wasn't working again and as soon as I went down to his place and just saw it clicking in and you just hear this slight burr sound from the rooftop as it tries to start. I'm pretty sure the new cap might have even failed or the compressor's gone so I've got a collection of tested good caps I'm going to take with me I can't quite remember what it was I think it was either 40 or 60 so I've got a variety of good run caps that I know are good and I'll try changing the cap out if that fails and the compressor's actually locked up or something like that then it's going to be a whole unit replacement and I'll just hand the job off to our local contractor so yeah let's get out there and uh go for it. I'll bring the multimeter and all the other gear. I'll just grab a carry bag tool kit and away we go. Field kit. Not often I do these sorts of things but it's worth it for the time being and a good friend of mine so we look after our own. <laughs> I just don't take on common, like I don't advertise as a repair tech or anything like that. I could, I could do it but nah. A lot of driving around, a lot of running around. Okay well, back to it. This is the one. Isolated there, I think. I'll check that one. I got my meter. Okay, well, main brake is off now. I'm not re don't read any volts. Whereas before, when the brake are on, you do. These are always live. Oh, that's still rated. They should have been put inside a line set. I don't know how we installed this, but they did a bodge up job of it. Well, there's your problem. That run cap looks a bit sad. <laughs> it's a shame, it's only about a year and a half, two, two years ago I think I put this in. Yeah, it'd be about two years. Or well, not even that, it was winter time so they wanted heat. But yeah, that's um, bloated. Better quality than the last one, but oh well. I'll throw a good second handy in for now to get them out of trouble and then I'll uh, order another one. Oh well. I should have bought me cleaning gear while I was up here. Well, it's not too bad. Being up on a rooftop's not bad. If it was on the ground next to the road or something, it'd be full of dirt. Anyway. There we go. Working. Yep. Working, working, working. Beautiful. Shut it down, put it back together again. Okay, well that's done. Um, yeah, that's the cap that I took out of it. As you can see, it's had a bit of a problem at that end. It's not very healthy. So, it's working fine now, it's been working fine. Made sure it worked properly for a while and uh, done. Anyway, onwards with other little projects because I've got the computer and everything out and uh, that's working very well. A few teething issues with drivers but that's all sorted now. Uh, it works very well, so I'm going to tidy up what I had out here and put all the loose bits and pieces back in the old in the new mainboard box and be done with it. I can get the um, Intel server set up next. Uh, that'll be a separate video. Um, what else for the update? I guess. Yeah, I'm looking at um, breaking down the front end of the Daewoo next. So when it cools down a bit, anyway, it's still pretty damn hot out here, and it's going to be until the next um, Thursday. 30, 30, 37, 32, 36. Lots of nice hot weather. I mean, it's not a bad thing, it's just a bit much at times. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the little update and field trip. And uh, stay tuned for more.